Hi, everybody. Delia Witt is already here. Hey, sis. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I knew this was going to be outrageous. I just didn't know how. But <laughs> wow. I was hey, with my glasses. Hey. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Phoenix Gibbs is like, those are dope. Oh, yes. my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Yes. You know you dope. You yes. know you dope. Like, what I love about your spirit is that there's no effort. Like, it's so natural. It Thank flows you. so beautiful. I mean, really. You know, it's like, you don't even try to be funny. But you're funny. I'm not trying to be funny. <laughs> and I was just talking about this earlier. Because a lot of people say, like, let me you know, try to put the comedian. volume up. Yeah, go ahead. Be a comedian or do skits or things. And I'm like, I don't try to be funny. <laughs> like, I'm I not know. doing it to be funny. I'm I know. A I can tell. <laughs> I can tell. So let me invite a few people like I normally do. Okay. Uh, let me just send it out. You could do the same on your part if you want. Okay. And this we'll is my just first take time it. Live, so I don't even know. Oh, really? Live on Instagram yeah. first time? Mm -hmm. Mm hmm That's awesome. Oh, no, that's not what I want to do. <laughs> oh, okay, I see it. All right, I sent it off to a few. Let me see what Okay. Those glasses are ladies' hands. Uh, that's up. Like hi. Yes. Hey. <laughs> like, I hi. Like, perfect to you know come on with. I gotta take them off because I can't see with them. But, <laughs> but you know. <laughs> They're the perfect introduction. Like, hey. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Hold on. Let me. So my kids are in the background. Yeah, I hear them. I hear as them. As always. As always. So. They're, they'll be part of the show, too. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, because there's no way they're not going to come in here. Uh-huh. You know, uh-huh. As much as I try to be like, close the door. Even when I'm recording my videos, my YouTube videos and stuff, I'm like, you know, could y'all keep it down? Could y'all close the door? But, you know. How many do you have? Four. Four that look Four. Four. And wow. I have six, so four, you know, I push them out and then two <laughs> bonus children. Okay, um, okay. But That's yeah, sweet, they're like, they want to be hey, Ricky. The camera so bad. Hi. Because oh. they're, they're like me. They want to they, they wanna be in a the camera. They want to do acting. They want to like, you know. Be in the spotlight. So, like, the moment I pick out the camera or they hear me talking, they're like, Mommy, <laughs> like, you know, Mommy, can I have this? No, you just want to see my camera. That's what you want. Wow. So, yeah. So, you'll hear them in the so, background. Wow. So, we're going to start. You could uh, take it from here, let everybody know who you are, and then we'll go back and forth with the whole interview. Okay. So, I. Am okay. I am Davy. That's my name, but my social media name is Delia Wynn. And okay. I wanna. That came from my middle name. Oh. So my middle name is Wendelia. So oh. I flipped it and came up with it. I thought it was unique and different. It is. So I, you know, Delia Wynn. So that's really Wendelia, but Delia Wynn. Um. So I don't know. 
just one day I just came up with it because I thought it was unique and something that would stand out and I thought it was pretty Delia you know um my name it gives me problems a lot so I want to say I appreciate you getting it right even though you know Delia is my Instagram or my social media name my real name gives me huge problems my real name okay Dave Drian Dave Drian that's my name and ever since I was little people been screwing up my name and it's very frustrating even at work when I'm sending emails my my name on the email it's Dave Drian they email me back hello David hello sir and like you know <laughs> so, so yeah even Dave, even Dave Drian is a very beautiful name yeah thank you and I think so and I think it's very unique it's just that it gives me so many problems that I rather just you know <laughs> yeah. use a different name so I go by Davey in real life like that's Davey. Crazy. um but Delia when it's my um social media name um so I love I, Delia uh I, I'm a YouTuber a small YouTuber for now you know one day <laughs> I'm gonna get up there I have full faith in that um or, or Rizzler and um a mother full-time Mm -hmm. I work full time as well. So I got a lot going on. I got a lot of food on all of my plates. Um, but all while trying to manage that food on my plates, I try to still be positive and be who I am, you know. And, and even before this interview, I'm not even gonna lie, I was so, so, so stressed out and overwhelmed. And I was just like, huh, because my kids, like, oh my God, they don't listen to me. And I've been trying to figure out. Is it me? Is it my kids? Am I not doing enough? <laughs> or is this just how kids are? You know what I mean? So sometimes it gets a little overwhelming because it's like every single day <laughs> I'm telling them to do something over and over and over and over. And it's like, what am I doing wrong? You know what I mean? So I was just gonna be like, you know, I was a little overwhelmed before I got on here. But even through all of that that I go through on a daily basis, I try my best to stay, you know, or try to stay positive. And I ain't gonna say I stay positive all the time because sometimes I lay in the bed and be like, oh, uh, you know. But of course, try, we're all you mean. Yeah, I try my best <laughs> to, you know, with my plates full, I try my best to stay, um, you know, positive and be myself. And I try to promote positivity. So when I first started on Rizzle, um, that's what I was doing. Like, I was, I, po I used to post this, um, it was, I used to make this little caption and it would be, post something positive it's a movement and i would post a whole bunch of positive videos just talking about positive stuff highlighting positive yeah. news because you know nowadays you know it's so much negativity in the world and people share uh, that so much like it's mm, just like second nature oh somebody mm -hmm. got Ooh, let me share that you know but they don't share the positive yeah. stuff that's going on so even on my rizzo i created the positive news network where i report like positive stuff and happy stuff to try to bring people up you know during this time right now because right now you know it's heavy for a lot of people so it's really important mm -hmm. to focus on or balance it out you want to know what's going on in the world of course but you don't want to dwell yeah. on it you know what i'm saying so i really I try to, you know i try to be there and i try to push that through you know within my the work that i do and well, you know the stuff that i do and my kids and everything like that so yeah that's really nice though um i did realize your channel the positive channel mm -hmm. and i followed i followed it i really like it and that's where i noticed your sense of humor that would come out every now and then as i was watching and yeah. that channel actually is what drove me to check out your youtube after watching it for a while you mm -hmm. know since i was just very much in tune and then when i got to your youtube and i was just like she's really funny like she was very comical oh my god so i started following here and there but when you would come out and talk about your children <laughs> that was like it okay that was the funniest of the funniest and i'd just be like oh my goodness and i don't know i just got caught up in that i got caught up in that and i really like your vibe i like what you project out there is always positive messages but you 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 are very real with the way you deliver it yeah, you, you, you've delivered it in a way where it's like you you kind of play like a, a little role play of like today, how people would react to certain things that you're saying. Yeah. And then you give your response at the end. But at the end, it's always like a great positive note for people to capture. But we got to go through the whole thing because there's a lot of acting in between with the role play that yeah. you do, you know. Yeah. 
So I, I, I really love that and enjoy that. And that's pretty unique what you got going on. I, I want to acknowledge Mitch and Dwayne that's in the house with us at this current time. Thank you so much for joining. Thank you so, for supporting Delia Wynn. And um, yeah, the, the things you got going on is very unique to you um, and it sticks. And I hope other people actually realize that and, and see that because there's, there's something very special going on with you. Thank you. you. Know. Yeah, there I, is. I'm trying to like I've been doing YouTube for a little over a year now, um, but it, it's it's a work. It's it's really hard work. It's really hard yeah. work. Too great, you know. But um, mm -hmm. you know, I started because I always wanted to start a YouTube channel, but I never. I was always afraid to because I'm like nobody's gonna watch my stuff. Um, you know, and it's kind of discouraging when you don't get a lot of people watching. But I kind of I kind of had to come off of worrying about that so i started because get i'm gonna get a little heavy real quick uh -huh. march 2019 i lost my mom oh, okay sorry so, to hear that um yeah so i went through a really 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 tough time and i was like in a really really depressed state um for a very long time i couldn't even go to work for like months I don't even remember mm -hmm. how long. I think I, from March to like, I went back to work in June. So that, yeah, that was it. From March to June, I didn't even go back to work until June. Yeah. And um, I started my YouTube channel because it, it is an outlet for me, you know what I'm saying, to, let me take these glasses off. <laughs> you put my real glasses on, I can't see. <laughs> <laughs> I told you guys she's funny. <laughs> Can't see a damn thing, but um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm um Dwayne, before we before we move forward, Dwayne wants to know what your YouTube is because he would like to subscribe very it's, soon. It's Delia Win Entertainment. So if you just go to YouTube and you search up Delia Win, just like my Rizzo, my Instagram, or everything, if you just search up Delia Win, it'll come up. Delia Win Entertainment. So I have Delia Win Entertainment. A couple. I have um Delia Win Entertainment. Then I have Delia Win Music, where I used to put my um rap parodies on there <laughs> so i i don't really use it but it's still up here so you'll find it when you, when you find my channel i did a couple of rap but delia win entertainment it is okay because yeah. she's entertaining for sure <laughs> <laughs> so um i started it because i wanted it to be like it was an outlet for me to get on and record videos and talk like and then when i do the stories on my youtube channel I feel like that's a way for me because I'll be having a mood. Like, I'll be angry. And then I'll just get on camera. And then all my emotion will come out on camera. You know what I'm saying? Like, so it's like, it's real. Like, you know what I mean? That's like, there was the, the one video I did. Um, I think it was two weeks ago or maybe a week ago. I had a, basically a little argument with um, my sisters or my siblings and basically about you know me my me and my kids or whatever because if you don't have kids and you don't understand how hard it is being a mother or mm -hmm. a mother so you don't get it. so i had a little argument with them and then i came home and i put the camera on and everything that i wanted to say you know came out in the video that i was doing because the video was about being a single mother so all my emotions was just like in that video and that's how I look at it as an outlet, you know, when I'm doing my videos. So although, you know, I'm not exactly where I want to be or where I should be, I feel like one day I will get there and I enjoy, For sure. it. So For I enjoy sure. it very much. So I will never give up, you know, no matter how much it takes or how long it takes, I, I enjoy it. And my kids... <laughs> They want to do a channel. Um, I actually did a video with them one time. It was a it was an awesome video, but it got deleted unfortunately. Um, oh. we, we are going to be starting whenever I get some time because I ain't got that much of it. But we're going to be starting a family channel too, and I'll, they'll be on it and stuff because they just love nice. the camera so much. <laughs> so nice. yeah, so just video is like that's my outlet, you know. That's what I'm, I'm glad that, that you did explain because that video you're talking about, I did watch it though, but I'm glad that you actually explained it here so people can have an idea as to how you utilize your YouTube. It's basically like a healing outlet for you. 
mm-hmm. you know, because you because you definitely reenact, like you definitely like reenact, like you do role play as to scenarios and discussions, and it's like a whole this you're one person, but you're like flipped in like five roles all in one, and I could see each different character within you. <laughs> yeah, and you know, you remind me of old time comedy. <laughs> yeah, you know? when I do that, it's like, and it's just, it just happens. You know what I mean? Right. I don't right. plan on doing it. It just happens and it comes right. out that way. And, and it's so beautiful. Like. It's natural. Yeah, and I feel like that's something that, I find that that's what I think is entertaining. Like, you know, it just happens that way. It just flows. So, um, yeah, so when I do my videos, it's always because when I do these stories and I read these stories, I feel like, you know, it's always something that happened to me or somebody in my life. So I can relate on some sort of level. So the real feelings is always going to be there, you know, because I can relate on some sort of level. So I'm getting my real feelings out. Like the one I did, um, it's, it's coming out on Saturday. You're like, you know, it's about... I think somebody cheated or something and I was talking, my feelings came out of me like all types of stuff. So, you know, <laughs> when I do them, it's like, it's always something behind when I'm doing it. You know what I mean? So This is so nice. Um, there was one that I saw, it was like referencing relationships. Um, sometimes you talk about cheating. Sometimes you talk about like uh, marriages, love and all that. And you know what? Like you said, everything you talk about is real scenarios. It's real stuff, but it's the reactment that, like, the way you just play the role to illustrate and totally demonstrate exactly the scenario is really the unique part of everything that you do. Mm-hmm. And it's inter- it's very entertaining, very entertaining because the thing about it, what some people do not understand, and you do it so gracefully, is that. You put on a show, it's just you, all these different roles, but exactly what you're showing, somebody just went through it. Exactly. Like, literally. Literally. Exactly. Somebody just went through it, you exactly. know? And and that's very healing. That's very healing for the viewer as well as you that might have gone through it or watched somebody go through it. Like, that's how you deal with your issues. And I, and I think that's, that's really nice. Yeah. It's very unique. Exactly. And I feel like, you know, just like you said, somebody went through it. Somebody's going through it. Some Somebody can relate to something that I'm posting. And that's another thing that uh, drives me to do what I do. And when I do talk, I talk like I'm talking to that person. Like, you know, I'm you're talking very to you. direct. Yes. I'm talking to you. Yes. You know, if you're in that situation, then you can relate to what I'm saying because I'm talking to you. You know what I'm saying? So I talk right yeah. at the camera just in case, you know, you're watching and this happens to you and you may need some advice or you might want to talk about it or listen to something about it. You know what I mean? So that's how I do it. Like, I'm talking exactly to you and, you know, that's how I want that message to come across like I'm talking to them, too. That's so, nice. That's your attention grabber. Yeah. And you know what? Do you know that there are people who go to acting classes, pay a lot of money for them to discover what their attention grabber is? Yeah, yeah. I and I don't and <laughs> lo and behold, they may still not get it after the class right. because it's it's something that's innate. It has to come through them. And a lot of it, you know, it takes exercise, but you got it. Yeah. And and that's the thing I, I don't this is my thing. I don't because I'm me, I don't really recognize that. But the yeah. people around me do. So I don't embrace it as much because I don't recognize it. Because I'm me. So I'm like, you know, <laughs> you know, it's just me. And I'm just being myself. So I don't recognize it until somebody says it to me. And I'm like, what? Seriously? So, you know. I can identify. I can identify. I know what you mean. Yeah. You so know, it's something it's... that I have to, I don't know, work on recognizing within myself. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Well, I'm telling you right now, like, the way you do your thing, it's just it. You just have to continue on doing it the way you're doing it because you're, you are you have positioned yourself in a very unique spot that you cannot be duplicated. Mm. You know, they can try. I mean, you're always going to have competition, so to speak, but you cannot be duplicated at all. You know, and there are quite a few of you guys that I met on Rizzle that are that way too. Like, you know, 
like I always do um, cross-reference Mitch and Dwayne, and I also cross-reference Viral King. They all do comedy, They're all different types of comedy, you know, all different types of laughs. But depending what you're going through, you know who to search for, you know? You know who to search for. You know, like, they're on my bad times, like, I'll, I'll search for one of them. You know, there are times where, like, I'm really on a bad day, then I go and I search for uh, Dwayne. You know, some days it's like I want to, like, more a preacher style, then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to search for Mitch, you know? And when I really want to go, like, crazy off the hook type, like, really off the chain, <laughs> then it's Bible King. You know what I mean? Dwayne could be off the chain, too, but Dwayne's thing has a little twist to it that's, like, really funny. But either way, either way, it's all comedy and you just got to know like what, what fits for the time. And for you, it's like teaching, learning, you know, real issues put before your face. And it's like stand up. It's just a whole bunch of different things. But like I said, they cannot, can't duplicate that. Yeah. You know, only you could deliver it. And I, I think that's, that's really something that you really need to be mindful about. Yeah. yeah, that's huge. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's something I gotta, I gotta recognize because I don't. Um, where are you? You're not. In, are you in the New York area? I'm in Philadelphia. Oh, you're in Philadelphia. Okay, so there is this uh, comedian that I used to go and and watch in the city and up in New York, and um, her name, her stage name is Hazel. And she does like live shows, stand up comedy live shows. And she, you remind me very much of her because she would reenact all these scenarios and real life stories full of satire. I mean, you would laugh from the beginning to the end, but the teaching and the message that you get out of her whole um, skits that she puts together is just like phenomenal. You know, so if you check out, I don't know if you could check her out online because I used to go to her like way back, but um, her stage name is Hazel. It's H-A-Z-E-L, I believe. I'm not sure if it's Z-E-L-L-E, but it put Hazel Comedy online and you could check it out. So I want to acknowledge um, GQ's in the house. Mickey's in the house. Thank you so much for being with us. And we're talking to Delia Wynn. She is a YouTuber. She is on the Rizzo app, creating videos, a very good um, video creator, content creator. And she is full of satire, very good teaching and learning type of skit experiences that um, she delivers. And it's very unique. So we're talking about that. Peter's in the house. Thank you so much for being with us and stuff so so um how did you end up on rizzle oh child. <laughs> <laughs> see, i love your face on that one <laughs> so, <laughs> that, was most, that was so bogus okay let me get it too okay so <laughs> I know we're gonna have a fun one. She is hilarious. So <laughs> I was on Reddit. <laughs> oh, Reddit, okay. <laughs> and you know, I'm a YouTuber, so I was in the YouTuber subreddit. Uh -huh. Someone DMs me and they say, Hey, you wanna collab? I'm like, hell yeah. You know, <laughs> of course. Like that, like that. <laughs> and they they like, cool, should I post the link here? I'm like, yeah, go ahead. They didn't say nothing. So then it happened again. Hey, want to collab? I'm like, <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> so like, like, should I post the link here? And I'm like, yeah, go ahead. So then they finally post the link. I clicked the link. It was Rizzle. <laughs> <laughs> that, you you want to collab? That's it. <laughs> I'm like, that's real slick. <laughs> like, that's real slick. Like, why not just say, hey, check out this app? So that's how. And I thought it was weird. I don't know if anybody else got invited to Rizzle the same way. Well, it was Rumble at the time. It was Rumble. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I um I started back in February of this year. Um, 
So it was Rumble at the time, and I and I got on, and I got off. I was on for a little bit, and then I got off because when I first started, I was trying to do the um, like I said before, the post something positive. It's a movement. I was doing that yeah. at first, trying to you know put a whole bunch of positive news out there. Um, yeah. Because it was the beginning of the pandemic when it first all started happening in the pandemic, like mm -hmm. back in February, March type stuff. And then um, that's when the whole city started shutting down and stuff started happening. So then that's when, you know, the heavy cloud came over the whole world. So I just got off of Rizzo and I wasn't doing my positive stories anymore because I, I wasn't feeling it. Like I wasn't in it. Um, yeah, it was too much. You know, yeah. I got to be feeling myself in order to for my personality to shine through in a video you know what i'm saying like if i'm just like yeah. in a depressive state like and and, that, and that's another thing because another video i did and it kind of went semi-viral on rizzle and it got like 10k views like or something like that because i was like um talking about mental health how is your mental health today and like how is your mental mental check you know and like I, 10 people responded to it talking about their mental health etc um but where the hell was I going with this? <laughs> How you ended up on Rizzo? Okay, so here's something. And, okay, now, then I stopped because, you know, I was feeling like, you know, not myself. And then I started, you know, doing, talking about mental health. But um, then I got back on and, you know, I don't know why, I just randomly got back on one day. And when I first got on Rizzo, I wasn't responding to people and stuff like that because I felt like I ain't want to just bust up in nobody's stuff and be like, hey, I'd be like, well, who the hell are you? You know, responding to my video. So I wasn't really responding to nobody's stuff and I wasn't really active on there like that. And then I just started, just came out of nowhere and just started, you know, responding to prompts and stuff. But when I first started, like I said, I was trying to do my own videos and not the prompts. So it got overwhelming. So I just stopped. But yeah, mm -hmm. through Reddit. I found them, and then I just thought it was so. Like, did anybody else get invited through? Brett? How did you find out about this? Well, um, I was watching. I followed the Mademoiselle, and mm -hmm. um, while she she mentioned it on one of her videos, and I was very much in tune. So right after, I remember I researched it, and that's how I heard about it. And then oh. it took me like a couple of weeks. Then I joined, and then I started you know, doing the videos and stuff like that. But that was just through her. Like, she's just an influencer who just pretty much advertised it on her yeah. video. And that was yeah, it. She's not even um, she, she not, she's I, on Rizzo, I'm but she's not active. Well. Her profile is there. She's not active. Uh, you know, she, she, she did the bare minimums and that's it. You know? Yeah, I think they, you know, basically, you know, they pay people to promote it or whatever, you know. Um, <clears throat> because like when I first got on, it was Rumble, then they changed it to Rizzle, and yeah, and a bunch of um, TikTok ads for it too. So I guess they were paying people to promote it or whatever. But yeah, yeah, yeah. that's how I came to Rizzle. Now I, I I did grow to love Rizzle. Um, you know, of course, there's some things about it. You know that you know it's like all apps, like absolutely. Apps. So absolutely, you're not gonna sit here and act like it's just Rizzle because a lot of apps have their stuff. No. Every app got their pros and cons. Every single one. So if you want a perfect app, create your own damn app. But um, you know, <laughs> and we'll see how perfect that gonna be. <laughs> exactly. You know, it takes, it takes you know, a lot to create an app that people like. You know, it's just like you, just like starting a business. Like you know, absolutely. You know, like you know what I mean. Um, and that's another thing, starting a business. Um, with the pandemic and everything going on, a lot of people dug into their side and started starting a business. I think you have your 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 um merch or whatever i can't get anything right now because i'm in the process of um trying to move from where i'm at you know so all my every dime i got is going towards that but eventually you know, I'll, i will support the martine show but no problem <clears throat> everybody started um you know their businesses or whatever and i was always sitting there i would look at people and i'm like there's nothing i'm passionate about doing in the business field like i don't want to sell hair i don't want to sell like a lot of i wasn't passionate about anything so there was mm -hmm. one earnest on the on the uh, rizzle mm -hmm. he's, the first, he's the first one i got to know on rizzle so he asked me this question like if you could start a business what kind of business would you start you know because like i said i'm not passionate about any of this stuff that's going on but what i thought about when you go to the store, where I have children, when I go to the store, my daughter loves dolls. 
Like she loves doll babies. I don't know how many naked doll babies I got around here that my daughter have, but mm -hmm. she loves doll babies. So I thought like, you know, when you go to the store, you're not able to pick up a black doll baby. Like you're able to pick up, you know, mm -hmm. <clears throat> so I thought, you know, that is something that I want to start for my children, you know, because, and, and little children like my children, little children like my children, because, you know, when you go in the store, you see a lot of those, and, and then, you know, you don't see a variety of, I don't know why, I don't know what happened and who did that, but, you know, mm -hmm. I would like to do something like that for little, you know, black children, like our children. Mm -hmm. So, um, like I said, I wasn't passionate about anything, so I didn't, I didn't, I don't really have a business yet. Um, I yeah. was working mm -hmm. though, so I am what you call customs broker. I've mentioned it a few times mm -hmm. on uh, Rizzle. So okay. basically, if you buy something from online and they're shipping it out of China, it has to cross U.S. Customs border to get to the United States. So that's what I do. I'm in the middle when I'm putting the taxes and all of that stuff on there. So before the pandemic started as well, everything is before the mm -hmm. pandemic. Before the pandemic, before the pandemic. Before the pandemic yeah, I know. I know. Yeah, I was working on my license for that, you know, to start my own business with that too, because I'm, you know, that was something, I, I don't know. It was complicated. So it, attracted me because it was complicated so i thought about doing that and i was working on it but then the whole pandemic happened and that got pushed that got put on pause too so mm -hmm. you know i'm saying that to say um me trying to start a business be a mother do a youtube channel be a rizzler be a, a somebody's wife someday you know be a maid for my kids you know all of that stuff you know <laughs> Be a, a, a comedian. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm being a comedian. You are but, a comedian. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I, this is my thing about the whole. And people been saying you you should do stand up. Stand up and do what? Like I don't. I, how do you do that? Like you know what I'm saying? How do you you just stand up and hey like like what do you like what do you do? Like I don't know how to be a comedian. So people be trying to tell me like you know you should be a comedian. <laughs> You're so funny, but I don't. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. It's natural. It's second nature to you. So you don't even know how to, how you're making it, but it's happening. It just happens for you. Yeah. It is it's like... <laughs> <laughs> but I totally understand. I totally understand where you're coming from though. And the thing about it with any particular business, it doesn't matter what you're, you're selling, so to speak, you have to be passionate about it in order for you to uh, be consistent in it. You know, so you finding your passion first is very important. And I'm glad that you mentioned that because this is something that we mention in all of the lives. I mean, you've attended many of the lives. We always talk about being passionate, finding your purpose. You have to find that first. Like passion is like number one. And once you're into it, then the purpose part, which just comes naturally. But with you, the comedy part, it's just like, I don't know, like, I think, have you been doing this for a long time? It's, and like the reenacting stories and putting out, doing skits and stuff like that? Or is just something that you just adapt to recently? Yeah, I just recently started doing that, so. Wow. Like, it feels yeah. like it's been part of you since, like, I don't know, high school or something, or even younger, you know? Okay. It might have been there, but it could have been just embedded. It just was not, like, activated. You get what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. I mean, a lot yeah. of people have told me that, oh my God, girl, you're so funny. Girl, you're so funny. But um, I didn't, you know what I'm saying? Like I told you before, I didn't, I never really saw it because I'm, yeah. so I'm not looking yeah. at me as like, oh, ho, ha, ha, you so funny. Even with yeah. at work, you know, at work, I, I'm a trainer. So okay. I train these people to do the, the, the thing that I do. So I, I stand up in front of them. And it's like a little comedy show, but it, I don't mean it to be a comedy show. <laughs> like, you yeah. know, I'm standing up there and I'm teaching them and I'm, I'm, you know, I'm saying little things in between and they're like, <laughs> you make so it like, fun for them, you know, but um, like I said, it's just a natural thing. And it's something I'm passionate about, you know, teaching or talking, I guess, 
talking. Mm -hmm. I'm passionate about talking. Not so much being funny. I guess my personality comes through when I'm talking. But, you know, I do like to talk. So I did want to start a podcast, too, because I like to talk. That didn't work out. That didn't work out. <laughs> I tried. I tried. It didn't work. I, th I think um, your personality needs to be, because I started with podcasts as well. And with podcasts, there's so many technicalities that are so involved. Like the sound has to be crispy, clear, and you know, like you just, I just, you just heard my phone ringing. Okay, I couldn't have that on 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 um on the podcast. Exactly. I would have to like stop, erase, edit. It was just too much. Okay, that's the problem. so that's why I turned to video because I still needed the visibility regardless, and I knew that would have worked for me. But to tell the truth, the whole podcast thing. You need like a separate room, like a nice room with no sound, no nothing. Yeah, to just do that. And my house, yeah, I do have several different floors, but let me tell you, it's just I got people all over, all over the place. So it, it just wouldn't work out. But the video part is is cool because I just get to be natural the way that I am. If there's somebody that comes through, whatever, who cares? Doesn't matter. The noise comes through. It's like, oh well, you know, that's my living space. That's exactly. just the way it is, and we're just gonna. Keep it moving. Exactly. Imagine trying to do a podcast with kids in the background. What? <laughs> nah. You know, it's That's just not. Saying. It's I just not gonna work. I recorded it's... me a few podcasts. All you hear is <laughs> in the background. <laughs> like, you know, when I'm doing my videos, of course, you see what's going on. You know, and my personality, and you know, I, you know, I do a little. You know, I include my kids sometimes in there. Like my last video, I included my my three year old at the end of the video. She was like, "Hi!" <laughs> but mm -hmm. um, if I'm doing a podcast, you hearing, you know, that in the background. Yeah, it's a lot of distraction. It comes out to be distraction, and yeah. unfortunately, it doesn't really work that way for us. Um, so your YouTube channel, I wanted to know exactly, like, what is the niche for your YouTube channel? Like, where does it fall? Does it fall under? Because I, I see that you talk about relationships, you talk about like uh, women issues, you talk about love, you talk, you know, so what does it fall under most likely for you? I put, I say commentary. Commentary. Because I, okay. I don't know. Okay. Uh, when I commentary. first started my YouTube channel, it was, I was doing everything. <laughs> I was doing dance videos and vlogs and cooking videos i did this one makeup video it was um how i saw not that to, how not to do your makeup <laughs> yes um but i unlisted a lot of my videos because the thing about youtube um their algorithm is real real funny about you know trying to find the audience for your your channel so when I first started, I was all over the place. And if I'm doing, you know, vlogs on my channel and I'm doing cooking videos, they're like, well, who, which audience are you looking for? You know what I'm saying? Um, so I unlisted a lot of my videos in order to make it a little more narrow and niche mm -hmm. down. So now I'm just calling it a commentary channel. Um, mm -hmm. And I'm trying to recoup from the hurt that I put on my channel because I feel like I hurt it a lot by doing what I was doing in the beginning because I didn't know. You know, I wasn't educated. And when I first started, I wasn't educated, but I, I learned. I learned everything that I know now about YouTube. And I took my time and I two hour uh, workshops and I listened to what people were saying about the algorithm and this, that, and the third. So that's what um, drove me to niche down to just commentary and doing these little stories and I'm like I said I'm trying to recoup from what I did to my channel so you know a lot of my um, subscribers came from because I also used to do how to grow on YouTube videos yeah I, I, I watched that and you had one video on um, an ad that you did on Sprizzy mm -hmm. um, I watched that as well and so yeah you have a lot of good little tips here and there and stuff but one thing is that when I started my YouTube channel as well, I mean, I'm still in the same YouTube channel. When I started my YouTube channel as well, I was pretty much a little bit all over the place. Mm -hmm. And I was just like, it's not working, you know? So I stopped. And then um, when I got on Rizzle, then I saw what was going on with Rizzle. And then I was like, mm, something was telling me, go back to YouTube channel, go back to YouTube channel. So I started to try it out. 
to see because then I understood about the whole niching and how I need to focus a little bit more on, um, you know, my topics and stuff. So that's like my channel is women empowerment and women's health, basically. And I started just talking about that. And then <laughs> I started seeing things moving. And then I realized once I piggybacked on a mainstream story that I comment on on my channel then that jump started everything and it was like ooh, all over the place like seventy thousand views on like one video or whatever you know and i was just like damn okay yeah. now like i get because the algorithm was recognizing okay she's talking about women's about women issues there was a major issue that happened to this girl pregnancy and all that she lost her baby she died da 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 you know boom they just opened the gates right then and there. So I met and I did another story related to her, but it was another commentary, you know, about my feelings and stuff like that. And then that skyrocketed over, but then it piggybacked on the previous video because you know how they tell you to add the cards mm -hmm. on. That's yeah. really important. That's really important. Like people do not understand how that pushes your video up. When you add the cards or, you know, you add like the cross reference, another video that you have on your channel that drives the channel so much. So the, the thing is, is that this is what I learned. If you have a video that just like jumped so many views, right? You take that video and you add it to one of the cards of another video that's closely related and that's going to jump start it to move it further and now you go back and re-edit your other videos to add cards and add a video that has a lot of views to something that has less views and then that's gonna keep on moving it so what i'm doing now is going back and looking at what i need to change sometimes you need to change the thumbnail is maybe not that attractive you know i'm not all that great on that part that's something that i'm getting to you know to improve but then at the same time i kind of like want to use the same thumbnail all the time they don't really want you to do that either you know like change a couple of words and use the same thumbnail they're like they don't want that so you know they're, they're very temperamental so that's the thing about it but other than that once you get it it works yeah you know? it's a lot it's a lot you have to learn though so in order to be successful at it um so mm -hmm. you gotta put a lot of time into it and a lot of work into it and you gotta be in it because i see yeah you really start youtube and then they were like ah and they quit you know you quit before yeah. you blew up that's don't true do that. don't do that. let me acknowledge we have sam in the room gary then days <laughs> in the room chris collins i know i did see gq in here yes gq's here with us as well let me see if anybody else came and yes we did acknowledge peter all right awesome thank you everybody for being here and supporting delia win um yeah so that's the whole thing and um like once you get it all together i truly believe because i've seen other people i'm watching other people who are making it really well once you get it all together then you know it, it it's gonna be okay i would say you know pretty much it's gonna be okay hello queen thank you so much for being with us you know so that's the thing yeah i think it's yeah it's it takes a lot it takes a lot but you're also in that group that um the mademoiselle has going on for the media hustle you know yeah hey lindsay thank you so much for joining us um you're also in the group and she has a lot of classes that she puts together on a monthly basis and um they're really good yeah i tell everybody like it i I, inv I invite a lot of people to that group that are into YouTube or trying to do their YouTube. And if you just follow just a little bit, you know, what she's saying, pretty much you could get somewhere. Yeah, I haven't gotten the chance to get in any of her um, workshops, but I am in the group. I'm in a lot of YouTube groups. Yeah. <clears throat> but the thing you, you know, what I noticed about, what, a, what the thing I noticed about, they doing something wild in there. Who your kids? Yeah. <laughs> Don't worry about them. They having fun. I hear them. I hear them. <laughs> the last time, because before this, I was recording a YouTube video, and then I heard the three-year-old crying, and I'm like, "Oh, 
they just doing them. She came in here, her mouth was bleeding. <laughs> my son punched her accidentally. Don't nobody go talking about her kids and they're abusing each other. He accidentally hit her in the mouth. She bit her tongue. Do you want to go check? Do you want to go check? Blood. She stopped. She stopped. Okay. But I was okay. just trying to make sure that it wasn't a continuous cry. You know what I'm saying? You got to watch out for the continuous cries. If it's just a that's not a cry, but if it's a continuous, <laughs> that's when you got to stop and get up. Like, you know, once it continues. So I count like one, two, is it two seconds? Is it five seconds? So, yeah. <laughs> so they I love it. Oh my God. Oh my goodness. That is too much. Does anybody have any questions for Miss Delia Wynn referencing uh, Rizzle, YouTube? motherhood obviously oh thank you <laughs> you moms are amazing thank you so so much at least somebody knows that because and um and her comedy world the comedy world that she doesn't know that she's in but she's in it. <laughs> <laughs> i'm sure when somebody on rizzle somebody on this live here would probably love to do a collab with you okay and I'm sure that it will come into existence some way, somehow. Because, yeah, she is hilarious. Thank you, Queen. For That's real. My best. She just piping. That's my best friend. So, well, even though she piping, but she know what she's talking about. <laughs> What'd you say? <laughs> Who is my favorite comedian? Okay. I get this question a whole lot. There you go. Let's go. And <laughs> I don't like nobody. Oh my God! I'm not surprised that you're saying that, though. <laughs> <laughs> they not funny. I, I, I be feeling like, like I can literally you know, watch a stand up with a straight face. No, but let me tell. I have to get into this. I understand exactly what you're saying because let me tell you, it's not every comedian to me that's funny. It really isn't. Like, you had some people, I'm not going to mention any names because I don't want anybody, anybody to go crazy in this live. But there are some comedians, I just be like, uh, okay, what you just said? It's like, yeah. or sometimes I can be like, I can't believe you just said that. Like, that's offensive. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> so I'm a little, when it comes to, you know, comedy and stuff like that, I'm cool. But at the same time, some things I just be like, seriously, like, that's funny. Right. <laughs> I, I don't think so, you know? And you have some people, like, going crazy off of it. I just be like... Right? Mm -hmm. Like, what? you cracking up for what? Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so, no, no. Seinfeld was funny when I was 13. I'm 30. <laughs> That's not funny. The GQ thing for him is Dave Chappelle. Chappelle. Mm -mm. You know... He has his funny times, but some things it's just like, uh, all right, enough, you know? Yeah. Um, but at the same time, he's still funny, though. You get what I'm saying? It's like, I, it's not that I'm saying they're not funny. They're funny, but they may not be like funny for me, like the really capture like funny. Like you, okay, let me put it like this you, when I see you do your thing, you funny. When I see Dwayne do his thing, he's funny. Mitch, funny, viral king, funny, but like you know, there are times where I just be like, Oh my god, these people, I don't know yeah. what they're doing. Even GQ be funny, you know, he's when he does his comedy stuff, yeah. he's funny and he's funny and serious at the same time. Yeah, he low key funny, like, yes. like I wasn't expecting that to be funny. <laughs> you see, there you go. Now they're putting out a whole bunch of names. Trevor Noah, I love Trevor Noah, as a matter of fact, I think he's cool, don't you know. know. He's um he's actually a news commentator on um like I think MSNBC or something like that. Cat Williams, yes, he has his funny parts, you know, to him and stuff. Um, who you have? Dwayne Perkins. I actually don't know Dwayne Perkins. Michael Shea, yes, you know. But they, like I said, they all funny in their way, but they all have sometimes something that they'll say that you'd be like, nah, uh. -uh. I don't think that was that was a good one. No. Nah. I feel like they <laughs> tried too hard. Like they wrote it down. Yeah. Some, it some, some of them off. some of them they'll come up with stuff and sometimes it could be very dry. Yeah. But it's funny for some people. And I just like that's dry as hell. <laughs> 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 
Dwayne is saying Bill Bla Bill Burr. Yeah. Okay. You know, it's just I don't know. Maybe sometimes it could be the mood that you could be in as a receiver too. That's that plays a role. You know, it all depends. But some people, I don't know if you understand me, but they be dry. They be dry. Like, uh. -uh. <laughs> yeah. No, so I don't. So. <laughs> she keeps asking this question, which I already answered in the beginning of the live, but I guess I'll Ooh. Queen. Oh, Miss Queen. She said, so balancing motherhood and starting a business, how's that going on for you, basically? Yeah, she did answer that, but you could do it for her, I guess. In a you short version. Know. We talk every day. Oh, well, she want to ask you on the live. She part of the live right now. She going to see you at work tomorrow, but she part of the live. <laughs> So she said, how do you ba balance in motherhood and start? Okay. How do you balance? You don't. It's not working out. <laughs> you don't. I can't, I, I can't. I can't balance it, which is why I haven't started my business. It's hard. I'm going to be completely honest. Like real stuff. You know what I'm trying to start with the doll babies and stuff, but um, I haven't because I have too much on my plate. So, so how do you balance? You don't. I haven't balanced it yet. Um, I think mm -hmm. it's something that... Um, you have to literally take time that you don't have and put into it. You feel what I'm saying? So I got to take some of them hours that I'm sleeping and put it into it. You know what I'm saying? While they sleep, which you... You working. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. What are y'all doing? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like when I get off of here and I go in there, the whole room will be upside down because they haven't taken me here yet. And they can right. come in here. But anyway, I... <laughs> <laughs> Queen is busting your chops right here. I like her. She's a comedian too. We be cracking up together. She low key a comedian, but she won't get on camera. That idea about the coloring book is very, very nice. Um, I think that is something that you should definitely pursue. Yeah. You know. But you got time because you only got one kid. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to get into that one. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding because, like, uh, one time yeah. I said that. And I was joking, and somebody got so offended, like, "Oh my God, two kids is just as hard as four kids." I, I, it's it's true. Yeah. I was I, I was kidding. <laughs> Queen <laughs> says she won't get on camera because she's fat. I'm not even gonna get into that one. I'm gonna be, leave that between y'all. Yeah, I don't color book for kids of color. That's very very nice. Very yeah, nice. And, I, and like I want to do the, the the doll babies for you know for children of color, but I just. I can't find the time. And I guess that's um, something that I have to do when I'm ready so that I can actually go ahead and find the time. You know what I'm saying? Not ready. Mm -hmm. I'm not ready. Mm -hmm. I just want to play. I'm trying to move. And I think that maybe when I move and I get into my own space and I'm able, you know, to have, you know, time in my own space because yeah. right now I'm in a, a situation. But we're not going right, to right, right. But when I do get into my own space, I feel like I'll have more time to be more organized and do what I, you know, want to do. You know, as far as my business, my YouTube channel, my podcast, my comedy, and all that mm -hmm. stuff. So, yeah, that's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah. Well, without further ado, I know that you have to get back to the children, so mm -hmm. we're not going to keep you too long. I'm just going to take another five minutes of your time, but we want to take the time to say thank you so much for even allowing us the opportunity to interview you. You know, I've been looking Thank forward to for it me. for a while. And I remember when I contacted you, you were just like, like me? Oh, my gosh, you're so cute. You know, I could just feel your vibe through the message. Like, yes. oh, my God, I really touched her heart today. Yes, indeed, because I was, you know, I was watching the show. And then you kind of yeah. <laughs> me. And I've been yeah. waiting, you know, for a while to get on there. And, you know, I was thinking, oh, my gosh. When I was getting ready for the show today, because this is all for the show, okay? I was in here looking at how that's mess. When I was getting you're ready so for the cute, show though. today, thank you. Um, <laughs> I was in here thinking, like, what am I going to say? What am I going to do? I don't know what I'm going to say. I don't know what I'm going to talk about. 
I was thinking about so many uh, things to start off with because I could be all over the place because all I do is talk and I just ramble on to, into other things. You might have noticed that. I just be like, and it's, talking about all it's okay. Things. It's you, though. It's you. And <laughs> I was getting ready and I'm doing my hair and I hurt my finger with my brush. So my finger oh, is boy. right now. So I'm like, the devil is a liar. He don't want me to get on the martini show brushing my hair. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my goodness, I love it. I love it. When it's time for me to get on a martini show, I hurt my finger. Like, what is that? <laughs> oh, I've been wanting to tell you, but I was like, I'm away from the show. Like, I really noticed your, like, really realized your enthusiasm and the way you were just like, oh my gosh, she asked me. I can't believe she asked me. I'm going to be at the show. You know? <laughs> Yeah, I, I just so I felt the vibe so strongly, and I was just like, "Wow, okay, yeah. no problem." <laughs> and it, like I said, as soon as I get my life together, I will be purchasing the shirts. You know, right? No now, problem. You no know, problem. Unfortunately, but yes, it's <laughs> <laughs> my son. So before we allow Miss Delia Wynn to go and attend back to her children, does anybody have any last minute questions? <laughs> Any last minute questions? Well, you can, or you can comments go. that you guys would like to drop right before we allow her to go attend back to these children. No, oh, she's crying. Oh, let me call her. Journey. <laughs> no questions. No questions. Nothing. No extra comments. What? And GQ Your says to, GQ keep says to keep the comedy going. Yes. Comedy. <laughs> Thank the you. one that the one that you do naturally but don't know that you do it. <laughs> <laughs> and uh Peter's looking forward to the dolls. I'm when, definitely, when gonna, get ready. definitely gonna get I'll on be, it when I get time, you know. Because that's definitely I will I will definitely looking towards that as well. So Thank you so much for sharing your endeavors with us. We really appreciate the time that you gave us. And thank you all for supporting Del Delio Wynn. One short announcement. Please be sure to check out the Martin Show merchandise. There is a signing contest giveaway going on. The way it works is that you purchase your merch. You put it on. Create a video. Post it on Instagram. Tag author Martin Myers. And the video is that you're going to share part of a story that inspired you from the Martine show. No, and no, without further yeah. ado, we're going to close everything at this time. So thank you so much for everybody being here and see you all next time. Take care. Bye. Aww. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Have a good one. Good night, everyone. Good night.